And welcome back to Gardner Edison High School. I'm here with Coach Larry Fidel, I'm Chuck Holmes. And like I said before, it's ladies' night. The second of two games, uh -huh. they, uh, the Lady Trailblazers played uh, Sunday Mission East last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, very good ball game by the Trailblazers last night. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to see if we can duplicate that duplicate that performance tonight tonight again, and you know get another W while we're here at home. And, make everybody feel much better. And the girls will get a little more rhythm as they start heading into league play. I agree, I agree totally. You know, this is a makeup game from December where um, they were supposed to play the Northeast Vikings back in oh, early part of December, but they had, a, they had a COVID outbreak with the girls from Northeast, so they had to cancel the game and this is a reschedule. So this is why we have back-to-back -back ball games. And that's, we have to expect that this, this time, you know, with the COVID going on and a lot of teams are having to make schedule changes and coaches are having to play players that they don't normally play when they have other girls that are going to be out but you know that's just part of coaching mm -hmm. you, know, you have to deal and play with the hand that you dealt with on that night and you just hope that you've taught your girls everything they need to know and they'll be successful well, well i'm sure the girls from northeast will come in and be ready to play so i guess as we said before it's, it's a long trip for, well it's not a really long trip but it, you know it's a far enough for them to come from kansas city missouri out here to, to gardner so uh, Okay, we're looking for an exciting ball game tonight, and we'll be right back after this short break. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. Back to, welcome back to Gardner Edison High School where we're just about to have the um, girls from Northeast to inbound the ball. Already aggressive defense by the Trailblazers. Kaden Platt got her hands on the ball for a moment there. So the Trailblazers are playing a man-to-man -man defense. Need a little weak side. Rebound, and here come the Trailblazers, and there's a foul on the floor by number yeah. three. She's just a little, number three was just a little aggressive there, Chuck, and got her hand caught in the cookie jar. It's Triana Williams. That'll be the first on Williams. I'm not sure if Williams picking up that early foul is going to be a good idea, and not seeing that that bench is a little short over there, Chuck. Already the Trailblazers. Got one sub, and it could be a problem. It could be, especially if the Trailblazers run. First turnover on the Trailblazers on their first offensive trip down the floor. Pressure defense once again. We're gonna have a foul. It's and just a little touch foul right there, just to introduce them myself. <laughs> and a little aggressiveness, <laughs> but you know. We can already see the pattern tonight. I can see where the coach is gonna be playing some pressure defense. He sees that same short bench as you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to take every advantage you can. Yeah. And we're going to have somebody who stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds. A little, little close. But that's what pressure defense will do to you. Mm -hmm. Get up in the, get up as we call it, get up in the shirts. <laughs> you know, find out what they have for lunch. That's, that's right. That's a good aggressive defense and turnovers happen. Now we need to capitalize on it. Stick to them like glue, as they used to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sophia just a little bit off on her shot. Balled out to, uh, to the Lady Vikings from Kansas City Northeast High School. Trailblazers with some full cut pressure already. A little trap defense. She's looking where she didn't know quite what to do. Oh, when we had a turnover, she carried the ball with her right hand. Yes, just got sped up a little bit. I could see she was trying to make a pass and she jumped in the passing lane and she thought twice and didn't quite keep that hand on top of the ball and that's a turnover. Okay, we're looking at Leah Moss. Actually, we're looking, yeah, Leah Moss. She just recently added to the starting lineup. She's a freshman. Number 24. Off in the corner, driving the baseline, coming right up underneath the hoop. Good, good aggressive move towards the well, hoop. Well, Chuck, you can't say that the commentator Jinx was on her because she got that pass and went straight baseline. Saw that 
lane open wide open. So I'm gonna go ahead and score. I, I don't like, know the reason why I'm in here. I'd like to take credit for that, but uh, <laughs> I think the guys in the truck picked it up before I did. So uh, <laughs> we are traveling on Northeast. We'll just make sure we don't call out free throw percentages when they're on the line. <laughs> <laughs> 6.45 left here in the first quarter. Trailblazers are up two to nothing. Moss again, gets the ball inside. And it's gonna be off from North player, Northeast player. We're gonna have a... We're gonna have this replay by, by Moss as she catches the ball on the baseline, takes baseline, nobody stops her, and she goes all the way to the hole for two. That's what we gotta do. If you don't wanna call, if you don't wanna cover me, we'll take it. And we're gonna have a foul on the inbound play as, as Marcos was able to get free. <laughs> Unable to hit the basket, however. But that's okay. This is one of our one of our keys right here. We need to knock down these free throws today. That's right. First one is up and good by Marcos. Give us a little opportunity to knock down two. Second one's in and out. Rebound by oh. Moss. Yes, she is. Maybe that's why Coach inserted her in the offensive lineup. And a freshman, no less. So she's earned her way to be a part of the starters. Northeast bringing the ball up to some pressure. Stop, miss. Moss with the rebound, and there she goes. Pushing the ball quickly down floor. They didn't stop the ball, so she's going to go all the way to the hoop with it. Going to miss it, but there's a the cleanup woman. Marcos gets it out. A little short. Darby Liker with the with the miss. Northeast tries to slow it down a little bit. Marcos with the steal. Good D. And then she's down on her hands and knees. Oh, gets the ball Cody off. Hill action there. There we go. All right. Gets the ball off to Caitlin Flat. And we're gonna have a timeout on the floor by the North by Northeast Vikings. Good hustle by number 52 oh, by Marcos. That was excellent hustle right there. Not only did you get the steal, you fall to the ground and you curly nail it and you make a nice pass up front for an easy basket. Can't ask for it any better than that, Chuck. That curly nailer. <laughs> Globe trotters. <laughs> I, I like maybe, that. Maybe I'll just coin that as mine, the curly nailer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's a good thing on her part to maintain her dribble. Yes. And then for Liker, I mean, for, uh, for Platt to break out in the open to get that easy layup. Oh, yeah. But how about Moss so far? The freshman is showing us why she's in the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, she's showing why she should be in there. Here's the steal Here's by Marcos. Steal. There you go, she denies the basketball up top like she's supposed to, and I'll go ahead and keep on talking. She bats it out in front, and somebody tripped her at the, at the midcourt line. She goes to both knees and maintains the dribble and passes up to Platt, and easy layup. That's what she does. <laughs> she's, a, she's a hustler on this team. That's right. Some more full court pressure by the Trailblazers as Northeast tries to inbound the basketball. Yeah. What we got here is a off to almost a turnover, but not quite. More defense, tough defense by the Lady Trailblazers, and that ball's going to go right through number 23's legs, and it's going to be a belong to the Trailblazers. You know, we used to see this a lot, Chuck. When we were younger, we played a lot of. We played a lot of pressure defense because we had a lot of fast guys and we try to pressure that ball. If you can speed that offense up, make them turn the ball over, it's more opportunities for us. You also said the key word younger. Yes, much younger. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Trailblazers looking as he gets the ball off to of Sophia. Sophia runs in with the running right hander. Sophia said, Knocks I don't just shoot threes, I go in the lane as well. I like that. Trailblazers are up nine to nothing here. And we're going to have a jump ball. And the ball's gonna belong to that kind of timeout. They got a timeout on the court. We're gonna take a break here real quick. You're watching GEHS MSTC Sports. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Adam Winters, the Kansas Highway Patrol. The Kansas Highway Patrol public resource officers across the great state of Kansas have a message for you. Three out of every four car seats are installed incorrectly. Please read your owner's manual and vehicle manual to learn how to install your car seat correctly. When driving on Kansas highways, and you see a trooper in a safety vest, and you see the orange cones, you're in a construction zone. Please remember, slow down, don't drive distracted, and move over, it's Kansas law. Now that you've seen us, 
Make sure you see us and all other first responders and road workers. Move over. And welcome back to Gardner Edison here, where our Lady Trailblazers currently lead nine to nothing over the Northeast Vikings from Kansas City, Missouri. What we've seen tonight, you know, one of our keys was aggressive defense. And that's what we're showing. We've seen a lot of it tonight. Yeah, it's supposed to be something that the ladies worked on over the break and turn up the heat a little bit and there's take advantage of that short bench over there. And there's another turnover. Caitlin Platt was able to lay it in. Northeast is not handling the pressure very well at all. But the Lady Trailblazers checking her all over the floor. Yeah, the best way to handle pressure is to pass the ball. The ball moves faster than the body. And what we're going to have is an offensive foul here as the cleanup woman, and as Marcos, is. stands her ground and takes the charge. This is outstanding defense so far. The 13 turnovers from last night against Shiny Mission East, the Lady Trailblazers have picked up right where they left off at. You know, going forward, that might be our identity. We might need to speed everyone up and might help us out a little bit and take some pressure off of Marcos trying to grab rebounds all night long. There's Kaylin again, knocks it down to three-pointer this time. And that was a good find. Kaylin got the ball and passed it up top and passed it right back. A lot of times the person that passed the ball is going to be the person that's going to be open the more, next time. More great defense that hustle. But Marcos. Love it. She hustles back and gets the, gets the steal on the floor again, gets the ball out to Platt. Platt going to the hoop, and she's going to be fouled as she goes to the basket. Oh, we might need to call Coach. Call her some football team. <laughs> <laughs> might need to get her some extra playing time here. This is a, this is a, this is a great display of hustle and, and knowing your role and going after the ball and making sure you do it. Right? As a coach, you can't ask for any more. Exactly. She's giving 110% every time. Exactly There's right. that replay right there. And knocked down in the corner again as East was a little slow rotating after the ball went back up top. And, you know, if we can continue to do that, we can stretch this lead out a little bit. And you know, I don't like, I'm not a mean coach where I want to just pound you in the ground, but I also want to play the game. There you go. I want to play the game. It is, you know, so. There's things that we need to work on, and this is a game that we can work on some of those things and get some, some other players in and playing time. And that's the way we need to focus on it. Not that we're just beating these young ladies down, but we're just playing our game. Sophia Seaman at the line misses the first and misses the second oh. free throw, which is unusual for That is very unusual. Sophia. But they were able to make the steal again, and Sophia blocks the pass. Gets the ball up. Oh, almost stolen again. 33 drives in. Lady Trailblazers hustle back on defense. Cunningham with the basketball. Sophia passes up the three-pointer, drives it inside, takes the two. No sense of taking the 30-footer if you can take the two-footer. 16 to nothing as our Trailblazers are currently leading Northeast, who hasn't had maybe one or two shots. Time the defense is just way better than the offense. We see that at all levels. Another steal. Great behind the back pass by Sophia. Here comes Cunningham. Gets the ball off to number one, who misses the layup. But Williams goes up with it. She misses. Another layup missed. Lady Trailblazers is being aggressive on the boards. They can't get the easy one to fall. Well, they had four or five opportunities there, Coach. Hey, that's nice. That's that's hustle. That's everybody going to the glass and getting in, and the ball was still alive and active. And as long as it doesn't go through that basket, it's still alive. You, we, we need to get the ball. So I like that hustle by the ladies. Aubrey Liker checks back in. Galloway with a little elbow push there. Whoa, There's a little a three, tap. Three pointer. Rebound by Liker. She drives the ball up quickly up court with the right-handed layup and knocks it down. Nice. If you don't stop the ball, you are to go all the way to the rim. And that's exactly what she did. You got to stop that ball up top and make them reset. This pressure defense by the girls, by the Lady Trailblazers, is just fantastic. Well, you can't ask for a better start. And, there's, and there's another steal. Pass it over to Seaman, who is fouled on the layup. Mm -hmm. Here we 
that see. last layup right here. Nobody stopped her. And a little reach in there. No harm, no foul. And put it in the hole. It's a good, it's a good drive. Part of that aggressive defense that we're showing. Outstanding. Sophia at the line. Missed her last two free throws. Knocks this one down. Yeah, she, she, maybe she should look up here and tell us to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't do that to her. Mm. Number two is also good. All right. Well, so Sophia knocks down both. And, you know, as a shooter, you need to see that ball go through the rim a couple times and feel that you're hot. Got a quick look at Coach Joe Liker there. He seems to be relaxed. Yeah, he's, he's looking, he's saying, hey, this is the way I drew it up. And we're executing. Girls continue to play tough there. There's Sophia again overplaying. Steals it away, about to pass the ball off. Gets it off to number one. Over to Havlick, he knocks it down. Yeah, it's uh, we need to continue to play though because we're gonna need this as we move into league play. You know, we gotta look at these games and we may be out womaning the Southeast girls, but Northeast girls, mm -hmm. but we still have to play our game and get better. We're going to have a foul on Liker on this one, but here we see a Liker as he goes down, knocks it down. That is Havlick, my, my mistake. It's a good way to pass the ball up front. Mm -hmm. It moves faster than you can run. Williams back in the game, re replacing Marcos. Pass down low, shot is blocked by Sophia. Northeast with the rebound again, turns around another shot, and the ladies Vikings finally get two points on the board. 128 finally got it, and hustled, got a rebound, kicked it back out, and it was a good shot. Down low pass to Williams, outstanding as, pass. As you can see, if you don't get back on defense, you'll give up extra easy baskets. One on nine left here in the first period. Lady Trailblazers is up by 22. Still playing very aggressive, hard defense. Quick hands, Sophia steals the ball again and runs into the referee. And he's part of the he is part of <laughs> he, he is part of the floor. He is he is part of the floor. Sometimes you have to avoid him as an out-of-bounds guy. And we'll take a look at this last replay as it comes up. And we had a pass to the left, and we had a pass to the right for easy layup. Oh, that was a nice pass by Liker. That was down a low, very with her, nice pass. Dribbling with her head up and, and making sure Williams gets a nice, easy ball for her to lay in. It's always good to put the ball where the big man can use it. Williams goes up, and this time she's fouled. Uh, Williams, we, Williams with the foul. We, we'll, we'll discuss that at a break if that was a foul or not. Here's that, that last pass, pass again. Nice, easy pass for Williams to lay it in. Lady Vikings at the line. First free throw is no good. Uh oh looks like the ref has bad feet. Mm -mm. Soccer player, yeah. <laughs> he told the ladies it's a long way down there to grab the ball. <laughs> ref looking like he's about seven foot tall, that's for sure. Triana Williams at the line, missed her first free throw. Here's the second. That one's going to be falling through the hoop. So it's the third point for the Northeast Vikings. Come the Lady Trails Blazers as Liker goes all the way, misses. Sophia skip pass across the plat. She takes steps back, takes a three pointer, misses. And Seaman with the rebound, she misses. And we're going to have a there Williams. Go. All right, good job, Williams. That was a good skip pass by Sophia. Over that side, just a little long on that shot, but the lady stuck with it and grabbed the rebound, and here we go. Williams is having a good first period so she far. Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah. Down to 15 seconds left here in the first period, more pressure defense. Northeast having all kind of trouble against this pressure defense. Once again, ball stolen away. Here comes Liker again. Oh, they didn't get it off just before the period ended. 26 to three as our Lady Trailblazers lead the Lady Vikings from North Kansas, from Northeast High School here in Kansas City. We'll be right back after this short break. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Adam Winters, the Kansas Highway Patrol. 
The Kansas Highway Patrol public resource officers across the great state of Kansas have a message for you. Three out of every four car seats are installed incorrectly. Please read your owner's manual and vehicle manual to learn how to install your car seat correctly. When driving on Kansas highways and you see a trooper in a safety vest and you see the orange cones, you're in a construction zone. Please remember, slow down, don't drive distracted, and move over. It's Kansas law. Now that you've seen us, make sure you see us and all other first responders and road workers. Move over. Back to Gardner Edgerton High School, here were our Lady Trailblazers. Current, currently lead the Northeast, Kansas City Northeast um, Vikings, 26 to three. You know, we were talking about number 24, just being inserted into the lineup. The freshman, Moss. Here we see that um, she's back on the floor again with the starters. She's done a wonderful job to be promoted up to uh, the, the varsity. Yeah, the last time that I saw the lady, she was uh, she was the sixth man coming off the bench, and now she's been elevated to to a starter. And you know, we don't know if there's any injuries or if the coach is just taking a, a look or just rewarding the player for working hard. What we're going to have is a block here, Northeast number 20, as she was moving, trying to set the screen. Melissa Dunn. Coach is telling her right, she needs to get set. She's trying to move around and make sure she gets to that spot. You have to get set. To, and the strikes will always call the big man for moving up there. It's a nice block. And ball's going to be out of bounds. Off the northeast, off the block. You know, the Northeast Vikings and ladies are still playing hard. They're still trying. You know, they're kind of out man, but they're still trying. Yep, there you go. Bojanski misses, but she goes for the easy one. That was a good play right there. He just had enough time to wait for Marcos to get down to the to the baseline, down on the low block, and found her, and there's a point. Well, couldn't be wanted to put a three-pointer if we're going to have another moving block. And that's the exact same thing that we just talked about, and the coach just said, you have to be still as a big man. You cannot go seek contact. That's right. So there's two things that have to happen. The guard needs to help the big man. That means the guard needs to run directly at the big man and then veer off. Don't run to the outside to allow the defender to slide between you. And then she tries to stand up, slide over, and you get called for that blocking foul every time. We see it all the time in college basketball. There's a lob in. Back out as Marcos didn't have a shot, couldn't take it cleanly. Moss dribbling in, Moss loses it. Picked up by Bajanski. Gets it back over to Moss, who's Bojanski by herself. Going to be a little short, and the cleanup woman is right there. The cleanup woman, Christian Marcos. Right, right spot, there, right time. Picking up the garbage. That's again, Northeast is trying to get inside. Cunningham with the rebound. She looks up, she sees Moss running the floor. Moss goes up, up for the layup, knocks it down. Yeah, we see the bear. That was, the ball always moves faster when you pass it versus when you're dribbling. And that's what we're seeing the ladies do tonight. They're passing the ball up for it. No one is being selfish. Everybody can eat, as they say. You know who else was huffing down the floor right there? Oh, we already know. That's right. Marcos the was right was there. The cleanup was coming. The cleanup woman was there. You know, we keep saying this tonight, Chuck. She's going to end up being the cleanup woman. Really? And there's Cunningham again with another steal. Pushing the ball up floor. She sees Moss. Moss right. stops. Knocks it up with the right left hand. There we go. She, she held it just long enough to make sure that she got free of that defender. And that bounce pass is exactly what you need in that situation. And we're going to have another timeout on the floor by Northeast as they just can't seem to handle this pressure that the Lady Trailblazers are putting them through. And here we go with that replay. That pass up front. And... There she is. You know, number 11 was in a bad situation. I've been in that before a lot of times, and you know, only thing you can really do is kind of try to play there right in the middle. Yeah. You know, you're just at a disadvantage. Just run back to the end of the floor because somebody's going to score. Somebody is going to score. I'm very impressed with Moss. She's shooting left-handed and right-handed. Yes, yes. So she's running the floor, playing hard. Yep, and Williams is now in the game, giving Marcos a break. Coach Liker has got to be loving what he sees right now. Yeah, that's good when you can have two 
bigs that you can go back and forth with and nothing drops off. You know, both are rebounding very well. Both are getting in position and scoring easy baskets on the block. And that time's an unforced error as Honey Brown dribbled the ball off her own leg and out of bounds. And we got a wide open three-pointer. And number 12 is the queen picked it up. Yeah, the That's Lady Vikings just kind of fell asleep and didn't know where she was at. And no one bothers to try to block out either, so. Nora Smith gets in the slot in the scoring category. Got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of Lady Trailblazers in the scoring category tonight. And that's good. Everybody needs to get in there and get the name in the paper. It makes them all feel better. I, I like it. Another almost turnover by the Lady Vikings. Williams playing tough with the block. Deflected it a little bit, and here comes Cunningham again. Pushing the ball down the floor, picking up a little pressure. So you got the girls wide open. There's Williams down low. You know, you don't like to see it like this, but the game was kind of turned into a little playground game. I think the, the ladies you know, feeling a little down on themselves. And, but we need to continue to score. I'll tell you, the girls are doing a wonderful job getting the ball inside. Oh, yes. The guards are pushing the ball down the floor. And Williams and uh, Moss, they've just been playing outstanding down low. You see. Here's that replay again, Chuck. And turn that corner, and nobody bothers to play any defense down on Williams on the blocks, and it's an easy basket. 38-3, our Lady Trailblazers are currently up by 35. About four and a half minutes left here in the, uh, just a little bit less than four and a half minutes left here. Look at number one, and she takes the three-pointer. That's Hablick. Lauren That's Hablick. A shot. Once again, we don't see the Lady Vikings close out, and it's a nice open shot, and if you can knock down open shots, that's it's going to do us well. Oh. And we got a double dribble here. Yeah, she knew that was a violation when she did it. That's, Number three, back in. You won't say she was cheating, but that's illegal. And here's this shot again, and she was set. Nice follow through. Held that follow through. Splash. Have you nice three pointer. Yes, indeed. You know, this is the kind of game after after playing last night and tonight. You get a chance to rest a lot of your starters mm -hmm. and let some of your younger um, inexperienced girls play. And there's Moss go going up for the layup, but she's fouled this time. Good aggressive move by Moss as she goes to the hoop. And I like it. If it opens up like that, and I know the coach is called to play, but if that lane opens up like that, you have to take it. You, 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 put, your t you put your team at a disadvantage when you don't take that and allow the defense to recover. Moss is a lefty. That's her natural hand. This is the first free throw. Here she goes. In for the layup, and she's fouled. For number three, Triana Williams. And Moss knocks down the second one. Lady Trailblazers are up 42 to three. With about a little more than three minutes left here in the first half. Rebound by number 35 for the Trailblazers. It's Olivia Hink. Getting the ball down. Oh, oh. just off. Of That's Mar one of those situations, Chuck, when I would say a bounce pass would be appropriate right there. I think Mara got a little excited because she was she had posted up and she was ready to take the shot. <laughs> but as you said, a bounce pass would have been fantastic right there. So. so that's one of the very, very few turnovers that the Lady Trailblazers have had tonight. This play, there's a nice sky high. That ball is barely off the backboard. Northeast with the rebound, and oh. they throw the basketball away. They gotta be getting, gotta be pretty close to, I don't know, over a dozen turnovers now for the. Here we are with about three minutes left in the second half and in the second period. And there's 24 turnovers on the, the Lady Vikings. They're just, they're just out man tonight. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Pretty Trailblazers have their, only have four. Oh, that should have been a foul there, but there wasn't. Once again, Moss running the floor. And she's kind of tripped up and loses control. 
yeah, down kinda, a little bit. It was a hard fall for her. Looks like she kind of stumbled over her foot and uh -oh, may she have made hurt her ankle a little bit. Take a look and see if she can walk it off and hopefully she'll be okay. She's played hard tonight, so she, she earned a little bit of a rest. She has earned a break, that is, that is true. Yeah, we're gonna have a, well, we're gonna, we're gonna stay here. Yeah, we're gonna take a break, but I think we're gonna stay here. And Northeast inbounds the basketball. We're about two minutes and 34 seconds left here in the second period. Lady Trailblazers is up 42 to three. No, that is not a typo on your screen. That is correct. 42 to three. Even with my glasses on, I can see that. <laughs> The Trailblazers continue to play aggressive defense. There's once again, there's another tip stolen away by number 30 for the Trailblazers. Maybe Baker. Ava Baker takes it. Now she has the basketball looking down low. She finds Smith. Smith's nice room. Misses, nice. gets her own rebound, takes it back up. Nice. Nice. And you see the ladies cheering her on over there. That's, that's good work on her behalf. And you know, coaches kind of letting some of the younger ladies who don't get a chance to play as much play, and it's just good work for them. You know, there's no substitution for game play. Even though you're playing a team that you're much better than, there's no substitution for that. The game is still faster than practice. It's like a lot of the young ladies on the floor are from the junior varsity. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as you mentioned, it's great for them to get some playing time in a varsity setting. In a varsity game, it doesn't matter who you're playing in varsity. If you are a JV player, you get varsity minutes. That's that's a confidence builder for you. And at the end of the year, it adds up to a letter. It adds uh, up to a letter. <laughs> everybody want everybody covered this that nice letter. Yes, indeed. And the kids will still wear that letter letter jackets now. Yes, indeed. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. You know, yes, my indeed. kids are old. I don't know. My kids old too, but I still wear his letter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> As we look down low here. As Smith goes up with the right hand, misses, gets her own rebound, and sticks it back in. That initial move was nice, though. She had I know. a nice little pivot and turned the other side and missed it and got her own rebound. And they always say the shooter knows when they're going to miss it. Another missed free throw. Maybe Trailblazers bring the ball down court. Baker's running the offense now. Oh, oh just took her eyes off that yeah. ball. And She's looking for that pass down on the baseline and just took her eyes off of it. Rose off of Havlick's nice pink pretty shoes. Yeah, my son used to wear pink shoes and everybody would laugh at him and then he put 25 on him from the point guard <laughs> position and nobody laughed anymore. Havlick on the floor, gets the ball off. Oh, oh, gonna, oh that's gonna stay with us. It's gonna I stay believe. with us on that one. Morgan Smith loses the handle, but it bounces off the leg of one of the Northeast Vikings. Havoc the inbounder. Smith with the basketball. That's all right, keep shooting them. Keep shooting them. If you're open, shoot them. That's what I used to tell my kids all the time. Coach, but I miss bad. How you know you're going to miss the next one? Shoot it. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. I'll tell you when to stop shooting. Ava's going to get some more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Now in the 40 seconds, it looks as though maybe uh, the, oh, we're going to have another blocking foul. Number 23. That is illegal. If she would have just, just went to that spot and stopped and not act, added the WWE forearm, mm -hmm. it might have been okay. They're having a lot of problems with that. That they're not quite sure how right. to set how to set their feet and take the block or take the uh, take the charge. And you know, as I was saying earlier, sometimes it takes the guard to to help the big out. Mm -hmm. You know, the guard needs to know that big is coming that way and help them out position wise. Smith with the rebound gets the Hustle. ball in. Missed opportunity there, but that's okay. Maybe Trailblazers continue to work hard. And we're going to have a foul on number 23. Over the back. And she comes over the back. And that's going to be the double bonus here for the Lady Trailblazers. The 10th team foul.
two in the, at the line. Morgan Smith. Second one is up. This is the second one, a rebound. The Lady Trail Blazers, and there's gonna be a set three-pointer. We're down to five seconds. There's the shot. Short and a rebound by Smith. And what a way for the first half to end. Lady Trailblazers currently up 46 to three over the Northeast um, Vikings, Kansas City Northeast Vikings. Man, we've seen a lot. We're gonna talk about it here at halftime, okay? We're gonna take the top. All right, so we'll be right back after this break. You're watching GEHS MSTC Sports. Trailblazers currently lead the Lady uh, Vikings from Northeast, 46 to three. Been one heck of a first half there, Coach. It has been one heck of a half, Chuck. Huh? Well, yeah, we were gonna do the teacher spotlight. I saw her there for a minute here. Maybe, uh, there we go, there's Sydney Clark, West Ridge Middle School. Congratulations to her for being named the Horizon Award winner for 2021. Sydney Clark, she's a fifth grade teacher over at uh, West Ridge Middle School, and she's been recognized by the Kansas State uh, Department of Education as an outstanding first year teacher. What a first year. Dr. Randy Watson, uh, the Commissioner of Education, called to congratulate Sydney on January 7th, and the uh, Horizon Award is reserved for those teachers who have successfully completed the first year of teaching and have performed in such a way as to distinguish themselves as outstanding. This marks the third time in five years that Gardner Edgerton teachers have won the prestigious award. Emily um, Bodden, she won it as a fourth grade teacher at Nike Elementary School in 2020. And then there's Kaylee Foley. Uh, she's a French teacher of Gardner Edgerton High School. She won it in 2019. So City will be recognized during the February 1st, 2021 Board of Education meeting. Congratulations, Sydney. Outstanding job, especially a first year teacher with everything they've had to go through this year. That's an excellent job. That's right. Teaching is a little bit easier than this. <laughs> when the kids are in class. So, uh, but we'll talk a little bit more when we come back. You're watching GEHS MSTC Sports.
When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. And welcome back to Gardner Edgerton High School, where our late Lady Trailblazers currently lead the Kansas City Northeast Vikings, Lady Vikings, 46 to three at halftime. Coach, if you are the um, head coach at Northeast, what do you tell your girls? Well, there's not a lot you can say other than you want to continue to encourage your girls to play hard. Uh, you want to encourage them to, as they would say, follow the process. You know, sometimes when you are, you know, from a school where they're coming from, they don't have a lot of, a lot of girls that come out for the game. I mean, for the team, mm -hmm. excuse me. And, and you have to deal with what you have. But you always want to instill with the girls. It doesn't matter what the team is. You need to give maximum effort all the time. Absolutely. There's always a, there's always opportunity for you to learn something from some team that you're playing or from your other teammates. You know, I'll point out, you don't give up. Don't try not to get discouraged. You know, it's tough, though. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you go places and you're playing teams that are, have a lot more things together, and mm -hmm. you know, and you got, and you got, uh, you got the the ladies coming out. You know, we talked about that first half recap. The ladies come out, and they're playing aggressive defense. You know, full court press. Northeast girls, though, the Vikings don't have a ball handler. They don't really have a point guard. And that's going to be tough if you don't have that. You know, they're trying to break this press by dribbling it, and that's got four. and they that's got, what they want us to do. So they've got 40, uh, 30 forced turnovers by the Lady Trailblazers in yeah. the first half. 30. 30. That's amazing. Some teams don't do that for uh, six or seven games. In That's a row. Amazing. In a exactly. row. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're now shooting 50% from the free throw line. We talked about them, you know, improving their, their yes. free, free throw shooting. So now they're at 50%. It could be a little better. That's a little bit. Yeah, you know? it could be a little better than that. You, you want to be around at 70%, you know, on the average mm -hmm. as a team. And, you know, 75% would be ideal. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about riding a hot hand, which was Sophia Seaman. She's got eight points, four rebounds one assist and four steals. However, coach, yes, she is not the hot hand tonight. Oh, no, she is not. We're talking about the freshman, Leah Moss. Yes. Leah's got, uh, she, I mean, she's been a name to the starting lineup for a change, and that's outstanding. She's got nine points and uh, you know, four assists, one rebound, and one steal. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about her when we come back. You're watching GEHS MSTC Sports. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. Three, and no, that is not a typo on your screen. It is actually 46 to three. The first half for the Lady Trailblazers was just amazing, Coach. Yes. You couldn't, as, as a coach, you couldn't ask for it any better than that. I know the team that we're playing is, is an inferior team, but you still have to go out and execute your game plan, and you still have to do what you're supposed to do, you know, what you worked on in practice. And and the, co and the ladies are giving that to them. Mm -hmm. Even the ladies that are, that are not normal, Varsity players are, are coming in, and we're, there's no drop off. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're looking at you're looking at um, uh, Samaya Williams as she comes in. She's uh, giving Marcos uh, a lot of breathers. She comes in with six points, and she's got three assists, one rebound herself. She's even got a steal and a block shot. So, and that's what you want from your backup. That's you right. Know, don't lose anything. That's right. And number thirty steals the ball away. There's a number turnover number thirty one. That was just a chance right there that. Baker steals the ball and get a nice, easy lay-in. You don't protect the basketball, the 
As they can say, the coaches used to tell me, if they don't protect the basketball, that little dude's going to come down there and take it from you. <laughs> every you know, time. I was, I was good at it, too. I'd take it from you every time. Turn, turn your head, you're a big man. That's my ball. Every time. Catch me. <laughs> Inbound pass by Northeast. Missed the shot. Pass across to Bojanski. She gets the ball in the whims. Nice. Nice. The, nice. Big, the big girl running the floor. So you got to reward the big. You got to reward your bigs for running the floor hard like that and, you know, allow them to get some extra baskets. And they're going to help you on the other end with rebounds. Nice pass by Bojanski. That was an excellent pass. Yeah. Lady Trailblazers, not, no drop off so far. And another as we, steal. As we said earlier, this is good. This is good work for the JV yeah. ladies. Bojanski with the steal this time. Another easy left-handed layup for Baker. The Lady Trailblazers continue to run the floor. You know the old saying is, you don't play down to your competition. No, you do not. And they are not playing down to their competition tonight. Exactly. They are doing what they're supposed to do to a team that's not as talented as you are. Exactly. Or doesn't have the same reserves as you have. You don't play down to your competition until after the game is over. Mm -hmm. So. We'll look here, we'll see the steal of Bojanski. She gets the ball over to Baker. Nice, easy lay-in. Northeast with the pass in. Goes up with the shot, misses. And the ball's gonna be out of bounds off of Northeast. It's gonna belong to the Lady Trailblazers. So we're looking at it here now, and See all the JV ladies in and some good minutes for them. And they're executing the offense. This is if they are, you know, just if they are with the varsity. Oh, again. Another skip pass. Another skip pass. Williams with another two points. And gives her 10 for the ball game. You know, Williams is taking advantage of her size on the inside and she's getting good position as well, Chuck. Yes, she is. Makes her a leading scorer for so far, and we're yes. going to have a right. foul. That's, that's an aggressive foul. I no problem with that. Not at all. That's Hannah Phipps. Hannah Phipps working hard down there. Brojanski gets it across. Here's a nice skip pass from Baker. Easy layup for Williams. The backside defender doesn't rotate inside. It's You're going to give up that easy, easy basket. Got a little bit too unselfish that time. That's, that's good no whistle by the official there. Well, it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to belong to the Lady Trailblazers. I see now where Coach, I see now where Coach Liker is substituting his big girls. Got number 23 in the game now, Aaliyah Green. She checks in for Williams. There's Bojanski from the corner, misses. Williams, Leah fighting for the rebound. And she's gonna be held. Leah Green down there, she comes in and contributes right away. Yeah, that's us. Leah came in and said, uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of that action down there too, y'all. Y'all keep feeding the bigs, I want some of that. Baker by herself misses. The ball's gonna be out of bounds off of uh, Lady Trailblazers. It's good. It's a good try. You know, Chuck, we look at games like this, and sometimes they happen when you're an announcer, and you try to stay focused on the game and focus on you, on what your team is doing because you know that at some point you're going to need your team to be able to execute against a much better team. And you yep. know, this, We talk about it earlier, this live action for a lot of these young ladies in a game is different in practice. You know, these young ladies are no, normally going up against the varsity, and I'm sure the varsity are probably working them over. And, you know, here's their time to shine. You know, show the coach, yeah. hey, coach, lights come on. I can do it too. Yeah, and I like what I see from the, the girls, uh, the normal uh, varsity, the normal starters on the bench. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the bench players, the ladies on the bench are cheering on their teammates. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's good for them to have too. That's camaraderie right Excellent. there. Excellent. Number three at the line, Triana Williams. She's the only person so far to have scored on Northeast's team. She's matched her number. She's matched her number. 
You know, ordinarily I say that's good, but when your number's that low, that's a problem. Yeah, we're gonna have a foul on, on Triana Williams. A little frustration foul on her part. Hannah Phipps is bringing the ball up court. Running across. Gets the ball inbounds. Bojanski with it. Gets it down low again. Aaliyah Green takes it up and knocks All it down. Right. Good job, Elena. Good job. Good ball movement by the Lady Trailblazers. Excellent ball movement. Move the ball around the horn and found the open lady. Yeah. I like that they're not being on. They're not being selfish. They want everybody to get their name in the book. Well, you know what the Lady Trailblazers have done tonight? Rainbow three-pointer. No good. Rebound by the Lady Trailblazers. Once again, running the floor. Get the ball down low and it's going to be fouled. That's Phipps. This is going to be fouled. You know, one thing the Lady Trailblazers have really done tonight, they've taken advantage of their height down low. Yes. they got 49 points in the paint. That's what you do. If you have an advantage down low, you exploit it. Exactly. You have an advantage out top, you exploit it. Exactly. You have advantages with speed, you exploit it. Exactly. So we see them running the ball down court and still getting and getting the ball inside yes. into the paint. You have to play to your strength, regardless of who you're playing against. And you know, we we're not known as a really fast running team, but we do run, and this is good. Yep. Forty nine of your fifty six points. In the fifty seven points. 49 of your 57 points come from inside the paint. You're doing a pretty good job of getting the ball inside. It's eating pretty good. Yep. It's eating pretty good. Again, with the miss, it's Triana Williams. Getting the ball down low. Stolen away by the Lady Vikings from KC Northeast. Number two stops and takes one. That's off. Well, you know, it's been a long time since she's taken a shot in. Samaya Williams. Keep Samaya shooting. Riley. No mistake. Samaya Riley. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. They will fall eventually. Eventually, yes. Mm -hmm. Olivia Hink checks in. We're going to have a Hold. And, um, a little lady rotating over and got mm -hmm. caught with the, the old cookie, hand in the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. Leah Green was being held. It's a fourth team foul on the Vikings. And number 11 gets her hands in the passing lane. Takes a steal and takes the Magic Johnson walk, and she misses the layup. She has some place to go, Chuck. I guess so. She took everything but her bags. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a nice rainbow three-pointer by Tiriana Williams. You know, if Williams keeps throwing them balls up like that, we're going to get some snow tomorrow. <laughs> 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 she go, she's going to puncture the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Lady Trailblazers currently lead 57 oh. to 6. And somebody got hit. And when your bench is this thin. Nobody can go down. Nobody can go down. Can't insert the coach because she has on high heels. That's not going to work out. Nope. So she, yeah, that's her fourth foul. Number 23. I don't have her name on my scorecard. You know, I haven't looked up the rules in a long time, but I believe you can play with four. Uh, and down to three, well, I believe. Maybe Northeast needs to be playing with six. Well, I'm not sure. That'd be against the rules, Chuck. Oh, okay. you know, if they could do it, they may be, may be good for them to do it tonight. Well, when you're down 57 to six, I think they'll let you get away with a few more. Yeah, just a little bit. As uh, Leah Green misses both free throws. I believe it. when we get to this, uh, the officials will stop, you know, wanting to blow the whistle as much to keep the clock running. And, you know, we has to not inflict any more pain on the Lady Vikings because mm -hmm. that's what it really boils down to. And I believe as we go into the uh, fourth period, they'll start to have a running clock. You know, I like to, they run the offense, getting the ball down low, and they, they're going to oh. call her. She shuffled her feet a little shuffled bit. Shuffled just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I understand what she was trying to do. 
That's a good pass. That was a very that was an excellent pass from inside of the offense, mm -hmm. and they moved quick. Yep. Defense didn't have a chance to get set. Once again, they are running their offense, and you know, Coach Lager has to be just excited about what he's seen tonight. Yes, especially being back to playing back to back nights. Exactly. You get a chance to rest your starters like this. They've only played what maybe half of the first period, first quarter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's awesome when you can just sit and rest. And now uh, your next game is not until so I, I think it's sometime next week. Mm. I haven't looked at the schedule yet, but and again, green. And she'll learn. There she goes inside. But she'll learn too once she gets the ball down low like that, not to bring it down. Not to bring it down. Because the little people, like you said earlier, yes, they'll take it away from you. That is our job. Little so. little people always steal the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just a sophomore herself. Actually, she's just a ninth grader. She's young too. I mean, the bright, the future is bright for the Lady Trailblazers. And the green knocks her first one down. That helps our free throw percentage out right there. And see if she can knock another one down for us. And knock down both of them. She decided to tell me I could do better than what I did the first time. Even Take Green. that, buddy. Even Green gets in the scoring column. <laughs> Look at her. She did a wonderful job while she was out there. Good job. That's excellent. I'm glad to see Coach opening it up and allowing all the ladies to play tonight. And they're still fighting for it. They're up by 53, and they're still getting dirty. Williams again, another rainbow three. This one's short. And Williams hustling for the basketball from Northeast. It's not giving Keeps up. It back. It's going to be a jump ball. That's oh, excellent. Time. She is not giving up. We're gonna, okay, we got a timeout on the floor here real quick. We'll be right back after this quick 30-second break. Gee. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu. to Welcome back to Gardner Edgerton High School here in Gardner, Kansas, where the Lady Trailblazers currently lead the North East Kansas, Kansas City Northeast Lady Vikings 59 to six. It's been one of those games tonight, Coach, where, you know, if you're on the, if you're on the 59 end, if you're on the, the positive end, you see a lot of positive stuff that happened. And mm -hmm. if you're on the end with number six, not so positive. Not so positive. Yeah, it's a little, a little tough one. This would be the time that we'd uh, start talking about uh, ribs and the type of burger you had. And, <laughs> you know, it makes it, makes it tough. But, you know, we, we're going to continue to do what we do because we want to see our Lady Trailblazers Get some work in and get better. Absolutely. Well, this is this is a you know it's it's a good game for them to get their work in. They continue to run the offense. They continue to play hard on defense, which is what you want to see. So there's a steal by the Lady Vikings. Mm -hmm. The Trailblazers still working hard down low on that defense. And the steal. And. Oh, just got a little carried Got a little carried away. Got a little. She looked up. Williams with the basketball, who is. Good job. Knocks down two more. That gives her eight point a game. She's the leading scorer for Northeast. She's the, she's, she's the only scorer for Northeast. I was going to say, Chuck, I don't believe I've seen anyone else score. Well, it's the Lady Trailblazers 59, and, and uh, Williams now with the steal. Gets the ball down low. Goes Fast the throw. Ball. Lady Trailblazers hustle back. Three-pointer, no good. And that's it for the end of the third period as the Lady Trailblazers lead Kansas City Northeast 59-3. to We'll be right back after this short break from uh, GHS MSTC Sports. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, 
more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. And welcome back to Gardner Edison High School where we're just starting the fourth period here. Lady Trailblazers lead by 51 as they lead the Lady Vikings from Northeast Kansas City, 59 to eight. And you know, we can't do these productions without, when we talked about last week, we talked about the IT department here oh, yeah. in the Gardner, in the school district. But we still can't do it without our crew either. You know, let's talk about our, our cameraman down there. Where, where are they? <laughs> We've got uh, Christian Henderson. There's Christian. He's running the floor camera down there. And then there's uh, Chris Alt. Wave, Chris. Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> we see you, but He's nobody else sees you on camera, Chris. <laughs> He's on the game. That's He's his on job. The game. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now we'll talk about Chris. Now somebody going to put him on the shot. I'm not sure who, but we'll get back to him anyway. <laughs> then there's Dalen Brown. He's also on camera somewhere. He's down in the far He's corner. He's down in the far us. corner down yeah. there. All right. And then there's Devin Ramos, also on camera. He's down here in the middle in front of us. We'll talk about some of the guys in the truck here in a minute. As the Lady Trailblazers continue to pile it on, being up 61 to 8. Down low. Green gets the ball off. Nice, easy running layup you for know, the Lady Chuck, Trailblazers. I, if you're watching football games with me, what's the first thing I say? We don't have enough points. <laughs> <laughs> When the Chiefs got the ball, if we're up 21, we don't have enough yeah. points. Well, you know, and Brown once, and Williams once again is fouled. But what, what you try to do, too, is when you think about games like this and you say, well, I wish we could save some of these points for the next one. You do say that, but unfortunately, they do not carry over. Yeah, unfortunately, you got to play, play with your hand that you dealt. Exactly. And here in the fourth quarter with the Trailblazers are up 63 to 8, we're going to have a running clock, So, uh, which is standard operating procedures when one team is no chance of catching up so yes that is uh that is the mercy rule um you know and it's it's a good rule it it, it really is mm -hmm. you know when you see a team that's very very overmatched you know we have a young lady down took a hard fall and after the rebound and yeah so we got one down on the floor, and she is not in. She's not feeling too good at all. But we're going to take a little break here. We get her, give this young lady some time to get herself together. You're watching Gardner Edison High School football on GHS MSTC Sports. Oh. <laughs> football season it is basketball season still the lady trailblazers and we're gonna looks like green has stepped out of bounds when she had the basketball in her hand so it's gonna be uh lady vikings basketball mm -hmm. you know the young lady who was hurt from the vikings she did eventually get up it's like she hurt her back a little bit but the the one and only sub that they have has uh, put her sweats on so i think she's done for the night she may be disqualified for excessive hand touching mm -hmm. In, what do you mean, foul? We call that five fouls. Mm. <laughs> Man, look at him. Still fighting hard. Both teams. Still fighting. And that's going to be the Lady Trailblazers basketball. With you a running clock here. You can't harp on it enough, Chuck. Even with the score like this, the ladies are still playing hard. They are. I mean, there are some times there's some lapses, but pride sets in. You're going to play hard. Yes, indeed. They've done almost, uh, played almost a perfect game tonight. Yes. Almost a perfect game. Oops, pops out, dog jumper. Miss. And there's that girl Williams again. She's all over the place. From Northeast. Mm 
denying the basketball. And gonna hold on. Looks like it's on number 22. Ooh, Williams gets a, gets a chance to uh, be the 17th bring the foul. rain again. It's gonna be the 17th foul for the uh, Lady Trailblazers. It's gonna put the Vikings in a one and one. And we're going to have a lane violation. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just a little aggressive. Not a problem. Well, we'll you you, you can't be jump. too upset with that. Trying to get a jump. He's trying to sneak in there and that rebound. That's okay. Yeah. You know, we were talking about some of the crew here. I think we only, it's, it's, it's amazing how we got the, um, uh, the main producer's son, but no one else was on the air here. So <laughs> we did get a Christian. <laughs> We got to take care of the guy that's helping us with our paychecks. Yeah, this is true. The executive producer, Todd Henderson. There you go. <laughs> we got our producer tonight, Joe Ramos. He's off. He's in the Joe Straws. Where did I get Ramos from? Oh, Joe Straws. Yeah, Mike Ramos is the director. Oh, I know what it is. Ah. I tied both of their names together. That's right. Not a problem. Yeah, Straws looks just like Ramos. What can oh, I yeah, say? yeah, yeah. They're on the same team. Yeah, and on sound, it's Daryl. <laughs> he just goes by one name. One name. Daryl. He just called me D. <laughs> and it's Darrell, I've been told. Darrell. <laughs> <laughs> With no yeah. last name still. <laughs> Williams picks up that foul, and, and we say Williams is the do-it-all. She has all the points. She has all the re rebounds, and now she has all the fouls. Yep. And on the replays is Ernie. 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 Ernie's the man. He runs the replays. <laughs> along with uh, our graphics lady, Ms. Dominique Henderson. <laughs> Dominique. Dominique throwing it down. She's working hard tonight, 65 to eight. Don't work too hard back there, Dominique. Well, it looks like we answered our own question earlier, Chuck. You can play with four. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like somebody fouled out. Uh, two. Uh-huh, looks like Williams is fouled out. So, yep, we're gonna play with two. And here the, the bank is open for Hannah Phipps and she Banks one in. And Hannah loses the heel, gets the shooter roll, knocks down the second free throw, gives the Lady Trailblazers the 65 to eight lead with about a minute and a half left here in this contest. There's another steal. Lady Trailblazers goes in and lays it up. Pips. Once again, you know, we don't talk about the guys in the stripes. This is a tough game for them, too. It's a very tough game for them because they would like to see the game be a little more competitive and it keeps keeps their juices flowing and them into the game and it gets tough like this. And <laughs> They want to do their job, but they also know that uh, we might want to let a few things go so we keep this clock going. Yeah, they want to get it over with, too. They don't yeah. they don't like this any more than anyone else no. does. So. No. You know, they, they, they still have to do their job. They still have to call the fouls. Exactly. And the violations and things like that. Exactly. So. Because they're going to always be someone's evaluating yeah. as we look at that look at Phipps. layup by Phipps right there. Yep. Chance for somebody else from East to get on, Northeast to get on the scoreboard. Well, we just got a Honey new Brown. score. Honey, Honey Brown. Brown. Gets her first point. Brown throws up a second, misses. Phipps with the rebound, looking up. She's going to take it all the way by herself. She's going to pull it out. And with 15, we're down to 10 seconds. Yeah, just kick it out top and just hold it. And this is the ball game that for the books for the Lady Trailblazers of Gardner Edgerton. They had a very, very good, they did everything right tonight. Everything. You know, Everything. Coach Liker has to be just beside himself with excitement because of this. He got a, he played two games in two nights, and you get a chance to rest your starters in the second game. That's amazing. Coming up with you know, with, as you said, with the uh, with league play about to start, mm -hmm. they need all the rest they can get. You know, for the Lady Vikings, and you know, keep your head up. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to have a game like this every time. This sometimes this happens. Right. You know, keep your head up, learn from this. You know, the coach did a good job tonight. He was encouraging those ladies. Right. So 
Right. Well, we'll talk a little bit more when we come back. You know, after this short 30-second break, you're watching GEHS MSTC Sports. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu. school here tonight where uh, the Lady Trailblazers, uh, well, for lack of a better term, Coach, just had a walkover tonight. They did. They did. Yeah. You don't get a lot of these, but when you get them, you got to, you got to, you got to use them. You don't get a lot of them, but when you, when you get them, you got to use them as an opportunity to get better. Absolutely. It's one of those games where, you know, you just want to go home and just forget about it if you're Northeast. And one of those games, if you're, um, with the Trailblazers, you want to go home and forget about it also because, yes. you know, this is not the way it's going to be during the season. Exactly. When the league play starts. Exactly. So, I mean, the Lady Trailblazers did almost everything perfect tonight. The, the only one negative I saw was the fact that um, the young freshman, Leah Moss, she did go off the court with a, um, with a little ice on her ankle because mm -hmm. she thought she twisted her ankle a little bit. <laughs> but other, <laughs> other than that, thank you. hey, it was fantastic. Okay, we're going to be going out to, the coach, to Coach Liker here in a minute as soon as he gets his – Equipment on. Coach ready? I'm so, ready. Looks like Coach is ready. Coach, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Excellent. Right. Well, your thoughts on tonight's game? Oh, I mean, I was proud of the girls come out and, you know, just do some things we need to do and, and allow us to get some kids in, uh, get some time on the court, and then, uh, you know, get this one uh, in the books and get ready to go for Friday. Well, you, you have to be excited as to the way you, the, the girls got the ball down low. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but at one point you had 49 points in the paint when you had a total of 57. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely uh, something we wanted to emphasize. We, we felt like last night we kind of settled for some shots that uh, uh, on the outside when we could have gotten a better one. So I'm glad that we kind of made, you know, saw that and made that adjustment and were able to capitalize on it. Excellent. Coach? You know, Coach, we were we were up here talking earlier in that, you know, in games like this, is sometimes it's, sometimes you have to forget about some things, but you get the girls that don't normally get varsity time get to get a chance to get in and get a taste of the lights. And I thought the the young ladies who don't get a chance to play a lot played well. You know, what are, what are your thoughts about about how Williams came in and and there was no drop off on the inside? Yeah, it, it's good experience for them and for everybody that, that got some time tonight. Uh, it's nice to just be able to, to really kind of focus on the, the fundamentals, the basic things that we want to try to do often and uh, and hone in on those, you know, boxing out and just making a simple post move and uh, attacking through the paint, that kind of stuff. And, yeah, no, like you mentioned, Sarai, I thought she did really well. Uh, I thought we did a nice job on the perimeter of looking into the post uh, mm -hmm. as well. And then I thought, you know, uh, when Aaliyah Green, uh, the freshman, came in, that she mm -hmm. did a nice job in the post. And I was really proud of all our, our younger kids and our kids that, that don't normally get as many minutes, that they played hard and, um, you know, I thought they just they stuck to the, the principles that we want to try to play and, and hopefully got better tonight. Well, let's talk about the freshman number 24, Moss, Aaliyah Moss. She had an outstanding ball game. She was running the floor. She was playing hard. The only negative I saw was well, I saw her limping off the court at the end of the game. Uh, she twisted her ankle a little bit. So uh, hopefully nothing, nothing too serious. Uh, yeah, we don't think it is. I mean, that, that, that kind of scared me too. Uh, like you said, she's a, she's a great athlete and she played well tonight. She really uh, was aggressive uh, getting – uh, up and down the court and had some really nice looks uh, from, you know, what, what we were kind of hearing initially, it, I think just kind of rolled it and she's going to be okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, that definitely gave me concern as well. well that, that's very good. I know Coach Fennell just brought up the fact that um, uh, Samaya Williams was uh, Soraya. Soraya. Soraya Williams. 
Um, she was very productive down low. She had at least 10 points that I know of, uh, three assists. She had three rebounds. She had one steal, and she had a block shot. So she really played well down there and, you know, giving in and giving Marcos a chance to, to take a break. After playing last night and tonight, so it must be a real treat for you to be able to sit your starters for so long with the league getting ready to start here. Yes, that was uh, that was definitely uh, a nice benefit of getting a, an early lead uh, because we play again Friday. And, you know, coming off the long break, um, you know, we're, we're still kind of getting our legs back. So it was definitely nice to be able to, to get them some time, but then also get some other kids in and, uh, and not have to wear ourselves out too much tonight with yes. the first group. Yes, indeed. Well, Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations on your win. Happy New Year to you. Thanks, you too. All right, and we'll see you on Friday. All right, sounds good. So, okay, so we will be served after a few uh, – few commercial breaks here mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be right back you're watching GEHS MSTC Sports hi I'm Lieutenant Adam Winters the Kansas Highway Patrol the Kansas Highway Patrol public resource officers across the great state of Kansas have a message for you three out of every four car seats are installed incorrectly please read your owner's manual and vehicle manual to learn how to install your car seat correctly when driving on Kansas highways and you see a trooper in a safety vest and you see the orange cones you're in a construction zone. Please remember, slow down, don't drive distracted, and move over, it's Kansas law. Now that you've seen us, make sure you see us and all other first responders and road workers. Move over. Dr. Edgerton, where the final score tonight was Lady Trailblazer 69 and the Lady Vikings from Kansas City Northeast, nine. So, what, what a game, what a game. I and mean, this is the kind of game, this kind of game that, you know, like I've mentioned before, as if you're the uh, Northeast girls, you go home and forget about it. Yes. And if you're the uh, Lady Trailblazers, you go home, you forget about it. Yes. Or you got the midnight rule, as Marty Schottenheim used to say, at midnight, we're on, we're on the Friday. All coaches use that midnight rule. Yes, indeed. So, so the girls did a wonderful job of getting the ball inside, did a wonderful job of playing pressure defense. We're going to look at a few replays, you know, as you can see some of the stuff, you see Aaliyah Moss. The ninth grader had an excellent ball game tonight. A few more shots from the inside. As we see uh, the hot hand we were supposed to ride with Sophia Simone, That's Seaman. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and then you look down low. There's a nice by Platt, one of the girls we did highlight we tonight. We did highlight, yes, we did. Yes, indeed. And then, again, Sophia decides, you know, I'm going to take the ball inside instead of shooting it from the outside. No need. And then I'm sure there's a highlight or two in here about the cleanup woman. We haven't seen her yet, but there's Liker. She's running the floor and knocks it down. A little easy layup. Again, Sophia gets the ball off to Cunningham. Off to Havlick, I'm sorry. Once Lay again, fighting on the inside. And there's Williams. There's Williams. Williams had a big game tonight. The ladies Wonderful played game. well tonight. They shared the ball and they made sure all their teammates got in. And there's the cleanup woman ah, right there. There she is. Yeah. Always in position. So Kristen Marcos doing what she does best, running the floor, playing hard defense, and keeping the balls alive. So all around excellent performance night by the Lady Trailblazers. Yes, it was. And they will, we will be back on Friday as uh, the Lady Trailblazers are back in action again. We'll be back on um, – GEHS, GEHS, MSTC Sports. I think we're broadcasting a boys game. I think the girls are in action somewhere else. Yeah. So, uh, but either way, I think we're getting close to league play getting ready to start here. So, you know, it's a good way to, to end the non-conference season. <laughs> all right. So, thank you again for all the crew, for Hindu Productions, for everyone um, in viewing us tonight. Thank you so much. I've been Chuck Holmes, and this is Coach Larry Fennell saying good night.